The Super Eagles of Nigeria faced their toughest test yet in the Africa Cup of Nations. Of course, all tests have been tough and they've overcame, but this time, standing in their way is the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. Here's a preview of the game. My name is Amide Shotubu and this is the Nutmeg on Guardian TV. What are your thoughts about the uh, Super Eagles in the African Cup of Nations so uh, far? The Super Eagles have been impressing. They've um, impressed um, the whole Nigerians. They've been inspiring also. And um, they've done so much. I think so far, the boys have really performed so well. Because from onset, we didn't give them that hope. Most people believe when they get to the second round, they will be out of the competition. So I think the formation has really helped. The players have connect. They, they, they are now playing like a team. And I'll give kudos to the captain, give kudos to Simon. In fact, the whole team in general. It's going to be a tough match. It's going to be a tough match, uh, but they are going to win, normal. I see them winning the cup. So what's your prediction now? They're in the semi-final, they'll play South Africa on Wednesday. South Africa is like a junior Ghanaian team for us. The match we go into extra time, that, yeah, that's my that's, that's really bold because none of our matches have gone into extra time. South Africa knows how to delay match. They know how to delay game. They can pull you and take the game to extra time. They, are, they always believe in their goalkeeper. But I still believe Super Eagles will win okay. by two goals to one. I'm looking at 2-0, if not 2-0 um, two, two at most, 2-1. Let me see, let me see, 3-1. In this episode, Ade and Organ are here with me to share their thoughts ahead of that big encounter against the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. And for context's sake, this, the Bafana Bafana and the Super Eagles have met nine times. The Super Eagles have won five of those nine games and then there have been three draws and one loss for the Super Eagles. And now let me come to you, Ade. What do you think Nigerians can expect from that game, really? It is delicately poised. Thank you very much, Ewai. I think the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be in for a very, very strong test. Uh, South Africa are no jokes. Uh, getting to this level, they've, they've faced some very tough opposition. I think the North Africans uh, have tested them and they've, and they've been able to stand uh, or withstand the test of the North Africans. Uh, getting the draw against Tunisia, seeing out Morocco and getting to where they are, it's, it shows character, it shows composure from the boys and it also shows the ability to take opportunities. I think the Super Eagles of Nigeria will do well not to afford South Africa any chance. Uh, people talk about the way... South Africa, uh, Nigeria have not really considered the goal. And I think that there will still be a match where it, uh, it, will need, uh, it, it might end up as an eye-flying game or uh, an eye-scoring game where South Africa will find the net. Nigeria will have to respond and for the first time score at least two or three more goals. And I think that it will also show the character of the Nigerian Super Eagles. Because if you are saying that they are favorites now, uh, the team has changed from the group phase uh, where we are looking at, we are not seeing them as strong opposition. If you are saying that they are favorites now, then we also need to observe that Nigeria has certain weaknesses. We are not really scoring goals. We are, we are keeping clean sheets, we are playing compactly, but the moments where uh, our strikers need to turn up with two or more goals, I think that's where the real test is. And if there's a team that can really test us, I, I thought it would be Kevadi, but fortunately for us, it's, it's South Africa. I think South Africa also have goals in them and they'll really test us. So, Hagen, you've walked with me through this tournament from the group phase up until the semi-final. Now, Ade is here and he's given a different opinion. He's saying that it's going to be end-to-end -end stuff more than what we've seen so far. Do you, by any chance, agree with him? I mean, considering the kind of approach that Joseph Becerra has deployed with the boys at his disposal. All right. Um, thank you very much, AY. Hey, uh, we've been through this for a very long time. And um, uh, like I said, and I've been saying, um, our, our team begins to, uh, you know, we, we intend to improve at every game in time that we play. Um, I rightly agree with him when he said um, we don't score goals, enough goals, and uh, um, which I feel that is one of those things that um, might be costing us. Um, but however, um, to, to win a tournament, you don't need to score much goals as long as you are getting the three points, which is one thing that we have been doing so far. We have been scoring little goals and we have been achieving three points. If we defeat um, South Africa, or when we defeat South Africa, even if it's one goal, even if it's at penalty shootout, the main idea is that we are going to the final. But however, South Africa has been a compacting um, team. They've been playing very, very fantastic football. And um, you can see that the reason why it's like that is because um, we have many of this team to be home-based players and um, 
They've actually been winning this game because they play together. They've been playing together for a while, which is quite different from um, Nigerian Super Eagles. And uh, we have t players coming from different angles, coming from different um, uh, team. And um, Pocero is trying to bring um, so many ideas together to form a particular one, to form a O. A o. And um, it has been working for us. And uh, we talked about formation. And um, we've seen so far that the formation has been very good. Um, it protects the defenders, and I feel that's one of the reasons why many teams do not score against us. And I think uh, we've only considered um, one or two goals in this competition so far. And we have only been scoring um, one goal, two goals, which is the last one we saw. Um, um, two, two games ago, we saw them score two goals. And um, we've had chances. It's just that um, we've not been able to convert them well. And we've had chances where we scored, and we had to, it had to be whether a, um, a foul um, on a particular player, an opponent player, or probably an offside, or we have, we've also had penalties that we should have had that were not given to us. But I, I believe uh, that um, as we go further, we get more, and I'm sure we're going to the finals. Interesting take from uh, you guys, Ade and Oga. But uh, my Nigerians, are, it, Nigerians are very, very keen to understand what the approach would be like. You rightly mentioned there are up to eight players from Mamelodi Sundowns who are playing together in the South African team. All right, this is a team that have better understanding, unlike um, you know some of the countries we played. And if you look at teams that have gone on to win, kind of like the Egypt era when they won in the 2010s, really before 2010, that is when they won back to back to back, like a three-peat of the African Cup of Nations. I mean, you know that from that history, all right. They were teams that played together, even from their local leagues. How best do you combat this kind of this kind of challenge? All right, uh, I think that Stanley Wabali should be our reference point right now. If you are looking at the quality that Stanley Wabali possesses as the goalkeeper of the Super Eagles, all of us know that that guy is class, and uh, it shows a long way to like showing us the level in which the South African league is is, is right now. Having players from there, having players from the South African league is. It's something that they want to build out. The chemistry is already there. They play together as team levels. Uh, Nigeria so far, at first, our uh, first two games, we were struggling with the chemistry. We were struggling with understanding each other's movements. Uh, what Ademola Lukman and Victor Sima are doing now uh, wasn't something that we saw in the first two games. So I know that it's building, chemistry is building with the Super Eagles, but we should not uh, rule out the quality of the South African players, the quality of the league and the quality of the players. If you are thinking of how should we look at the level of the quality of the players, don't look at Stanley Wabali and know that he's from that league, he's one of the top performers in the league and just expect the very best from that league to come out and represent South Africa. Another thing that we need to be careful of is no matter what happens, no matter what happens, Jose Pesero, Victor Osime, I need to start calling names now. That game was not good to penalties. The Super Eagles of Nigeria have not really uh, put themselves on that position. They said from the first game against Equatorial Guinea where they need to respond very quickly after going the goals down. The Super Eagles have not really got in a situation where pressure is on them. They've always, what they've done so far this tournament is contain, contain the opposition, take the first goal, contain the opposition, uh, somehow keeping faith in their own hand. In situations where things go opposite, how will they respond? How will they show character? That's where my big one is. Uh, certain players also need to be called into question. We need to make sure that we don't concede. And we need to make sure that the game does not go into penalty. Uh, Williams, the goalkeeper of South Africa, will be high in confidence. He saved four of the five penalties he saved. He faced uh, against Kevadi. I am very sure that we don't really have much penalty takers in the national team ranks. So it's, it's going to be a very tough one, and I expect Super Eagles to win eventually, Sha. Interesting take from you, Ade, and it'll be interesting to see really how the match pans out. But then, let's come to that. What direction do you see this game going to? Is it going to be uh, penalties? Is it going to be extra time? Are they going to do the business in 90 minutes? And if they do the business in 90 minutes, what's the scoreline you are predicting? Thank you very much. Um, you see, uh, like we rightly said, um, Ade has said a lot, and make a lot of sense and um, we just we are just looking forward to the game no matter what you do just make sure that you get the three points the three points is the most important thing um however we talked about um, not making us get to the um penalty shootout because that goalkeeper is one of the best that we've seen so far um saving penalties in this competition but I feel that now it's an open eye for us, for the Super Eagles. It's an open eye for us. Um, even if we get into penalty shootout, we know his weak point. We know um, where his, his strength lies. And I feel that uh, we can do better. But I, as a person, 
I'm aiming towards us not um, getting into the penalty shootout. Let's kill the game in 90 minutes. I believe that if the same hunger we've been putting towards other games, we can put more at this time, then we can get the goal. Like we always do, we contain the team, we score the first goal, and we contain the play, and we decide the, the, the tune of play. If we can do that, then I feel that we can do more. And I'm taking it that um, yeah, we might not have more, much goals, but I'm looking at um, a 2-1 or a 1-0 victory to Super Eagles. I expect the game against uh, South Africa to be a, a nice scoring game. I'm, I'm looking at probably a 3-1 or a 3-0. So yes, you've heard the opinions of the fans on the street and also the opinions of the panelists on the show about the game in prospect against the South Africans on Wednesday. And of course, uh, you can let us know your opinions right there on the comment section. Thank you very, very much for watching this episode. It's been a fantastic show. And also as we preview the game uh, against uh, South Africa, in prospect you can be part of the community here by hitting subscribe button and also get our latest content on youtube by uh, hitting the notification bells as well my name is Amir Shutubo. i thank you very much for watching and we wish the super eagles all the best in their game against the bafana bafana see you next time